French shipbuilder Naval Group delivered the Sufra nuclear-powered attack submarine to the French Defense Procurement Agency DGA on November 6. Intended for the French Navy, the Sufra is the first in a series of six SSNs which will gradually replace the in-service Ruby class. The Barracuda program was launched by the DGA back in 1998. The first steel cut took place in 2007 and the launch event in July last year. Sea trials started in April this year. Delivery of the six submarines will take place over the coming decade and the French submarine forces will be sailing aboard the new Suffren class until the 2060s. Official commissioning of the first-in-class submarine and its admission into active duty is set for 2021. The second submarine of the class, the Duguet Rouen, is now expected to be delivered in 2022. Sea trials of Suffren took just six months and went smoothly. The crew checked the capabilities of the submarine and its compliance with the specifications. An Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missile was test-fired in September, while the new naval cruise missile was fired from the submarine in October, marking a first for the French Navy. The Suffren has a displacement of 5,300 tons while dived, it has a length of 99.5 meters, can reach a maximum depth in excess of 350 meters, and has a crew of 65 sailors. According to submarine expert and Naval News regular contributor H.I. Sutton, the new submarine will offer a massive capability leap over the current Ruby-class boats. Among the improvements, the Suffren class will be armed with a wider spectrum of weapons. The latest F-21 heavyweight torpedoes will provide the core anti-submarine and anti-ship punch. This electric-powered weapon can use rechargeable lithium-ion batteries for training shots and one-time aluminum silver oxide batteries for warshots. With a speed of over 50 knots, it can reach targets over 27 nautical miles away. The other new weapon carried is the naval cruise missile by MBDA. This equivalent of the Tomahawk land attack cruise missile will provide the Suffren class with a first night strategic strike capability. This will reach deep inside enemy territory, a capability few other navies will have. The weapons loadout can be rounded out with the FG-29 mine and Exocet SM-39 anti-ship missile. Both of these are already carried by Marine National submarines. In the future, torpedo-sized UUVs may also be carried. Naval Group's new D-19 type might be ideally suited. These can carry out a wide range of missions including ISR, electronic warfare, anti-submarine warfare, mine countermeasures and mine warfare. It is not only the broad array of weapons that will set these boats apart. The ultra-modern sensor masts by Safran Electronics and Defense are another key modernization. They are all non-penetrating which means that they do not go inside the pressure hole. The control room is much larger than on older submarines. The captain is seated against the back wall, affording him or her an excellent view of the 10 multifunction consoles. The center of the room, where the periscope wells used to be, is now dominated by a touchscreen tactical table. And the operations room is there, integral to the command center. Among the missions which can be run from the operations room are the landing of special forces. Marine National has a strong tradition of naval special forces and pioneered many aspects of these operations. For example, detachable hangars for swimmer delivery vehicles or SDVs. Because of all these improvements, the new surface submarine will be a game changer for the French Navy.